G'day, we are at Kalbari and we're on a barbecue boat. We're hanging out with uh, some really cool people that we know. These guys are the Cookie Man. Hey. <laughs> Janelle, Sam, Hi. Henry, Alex. And I'm. Aria. Hi. And I'm driving the boat because I'm like a boat person. I know lots about boats and fishing. <laughs> <laughs> Be, well, hang on, I'll talk to you here. This will be probably the second episode ever to have any sort of fishing if Sam catches a fish. <laughs> oh, so all the pressure's, the on, pressure's on Sam now. <laughs> anyway, we'll show you around Kalbari from the water today. Let's do it. I don't know what I'm doing, but I'm just looking good. <laughs> Here you can see there's a picnic table, a little beach for the kids to have a play, a bit of a break, and it's overlooking what's behind me, known as Castle Rock. It doesn't look like a castle. It's called Castle Rock because some Indian prince or something wanted to build a castle up there. Um, but then that was told he was told no, plans weren't approved, so he couldn't do it. But that's why it's called Castle Rock. Apparently you can walk up there. I did not come prepared for that. I'll tell you a little bit about the boat. Um, so we hit through Kalbari barbecue cruise party high upon two. It was roughly around $280 for five hours. So we've That's split that good. over the two families. And there is a barbecue. That's a pretty good price, I reckon. There's a barbecue, which is a Weber King, which we love, obviously. Um, yeah, so barbecue and gas bottle supply, plus a bunch of cooking utensils for the barbecue, chopping board knife. Tong, salt, pepper, that kind of thing, so paper towel, bits and pieces. There is a toilet on board, however, you do have to be really good friends. Sorry the wind's really picked up. Um, you do have to be quite good friends if you want to use the toilet. <laughs> it's a little exposed. Uh, anyway, so as you can tell, we're having a great time. And, and um, you can just beach the boat. And there's so you can beach the boat. There's a bunch of places you can beach the boat as well. There's like picnic tables rope swings and tyres and things like that so you don't have to be like on the boat the whole time although you're paying for a boat you've got to be on the boat <laughs> um, and do you know what one of the biggest highlights is it's not like um, aluminium metal seats <laughs> there's actually like these really comfy nice couches yeah. um, all around and a nice shade as well so yeah we actually have an awesome day and we really recommend you do this in Calgary yeah.
Alrighty, it's lunchtime. What's going on, Amanda? I'm, I'm, on I'm on a boat. I'm on a boat. And of course, I'm driving on the way back to the shallow <laughs> bit that we were meant to be already past. Yeah. Just, just go out, to swing out to the left. Can you go a bit faster? No. Pardon? No. Why not? Why can't you go faster? <laughs> can't you go faster? Hold on, everybody! Are you driving, Aria? You're going further away from the pier, just so you know. No, no, that's the pier there. No, I couldn't see the bottom. Sam, you should have that one. I know, but I couldn't <laughs> see where the motor was facing. <laughs> We've got Amanda going to do the boat hand duties, deck hand duties. got caught up in life to let you know what we did after the boat. Uh, so we just stayed at the Murchison River Caravan Park there in Kalbari uh, just for the one night to make life easy. It's pretty much across the road from the river, a really great location for town. You can walk to the RGA, walk to the bakery, walk to the pubs, which is what we did for dinner. Um, and um, it was $37 a night with a G'day discount um, for the night on a powered site. Um, has a playground. It's pretty basic, but um, nice little park. So we had left there yesterday uh, after staying just the one night to come down to the beach camp at Lucky Bay Kalbari. It's a national park run camp, but it's not booked online. It's get here, pick a spot, pay when you get here with cash in the envelope or with the camp host um, does have FPOC if they are here. $15 per vehicle per night. There are shelters, there are drop toilets, there are spins and there's a dump point but there's no water or any of those sorts of things. There's a big camping area with fire pits as well um, or if you are self-contained you can keep driving past the main camping area and camp on the beach. You must have your own toilet though. Um, however, it is really soft sand. Some of the sites um, quite firm, some of them quite hard even in the camping area and getting to the beach is quite soft. So we just chose to go kind of in this spot here. It's kind of next to a track but it's so quiet here it doesn't really matter. Um, because we haven't put the um, because we haven't put the tires down we're being very lazy. <laughs> um, so we just went to somewhere that we weren't gonna have to any like some of the other sites just like a little bit further back like we were gonna have to stop and put tires down and we couldn't be bothered. Uh, so yeah so we're just doing a couple of nights here. It is fairly windy. You can see I've got a long sleeves on because it's cold. It's like 23 degrees and windy. Um, but the sun is shining, which is nice. Um, so yeah, so it's not really beachy weather. Um, but in nice weather, this would be a really nice spot to camp. And cheap. Um, yeah, we'll show you around if we do get to get out and about. Um, but yeah, if not, you'll have to come check it out for yourself. I met you 
going to stay a bit longer but, um, but we went to a caravan park and they wanted to charge $55 a night for pretty much a car park spot in terms of um, caravan. Literally parked side by side next to each other. If you opened your door you would have touched the van next to you and you couldn't put your awning out. Um, for $55 a night we were like no thanks. Um, so we came to the uh, 24 hour free RV stop in Geraldton, did what we needed to do um, yesterday. And this morning we are off to uh, breakfast and the museum. Um, and we're, so yeah, we've got 24 hours. So we're leaving the van and the truck parked there and we're scootering in to breakfast and stuff like that. So uh, yeah, it's a really great spot. It's got everything you need in the one spot. So you can park up for 24 hours. You can zip into the shops and things like that. And um, it's got dump point rubbish and water fill as well for once you're done. You can fill up, top, empty out and all that sort of stuff. And then uh, hit the road again. So it's great service and really appreciated from um, us travellers. There's also a playground just around the first building. Uh, kind of just around there, <laughs> which is massive and awesome. Um, plus toilets and stuff if you need them, but you do need to be self-contained to be here. Um, and also um, there's only, it's a short um, walk along the foreshore, which has got beautiful beaches right there as well um, for restaurants and cafes. So that's where we're going. Let's head off to breakfast. do a bit of a touristy thing which is the Museum of Geraldton and also apparently the Museum of Western Australia. Um, there is a Lego brickworks thing that's like shipwrecks um, because Geraldton is known for um, the famous shipwreck of Batavia I think maybe um, off the coast here um, at the Abrolhos Islands. <laughs> um, yeah so we're coming to check that out and um, have a look at the museum. 
、これ使う Well, that was awesome. That was so interactive and really good、um, history and fun. And you can build stuff with Lego and do some interactive, like, science y type things. And yeah, highly recommend if that is in the area that you are in、um, to keep an eye out for it. And to、uh, stop in here at the museum as well、um, for other history and、um, natural parts of the area. Alright, we're at the big lobster. Port, Port Denison. It's a, big, it's a big lobster. And they have a bra sail. Sail made out of bras. Because it's a ship. Alrighty, we're just taking you on a little tour of Port Denison、um, and Dungara, which、um, in the, I reckon in beautiful weather, not cold, windy, 21 degrees, and southerlies,、uh, would be a really nice spot to stop and hang out for a couple of days at least.、Um, there's so many beaches, and they've designed it that there's walking paths all the way along, and boardwalks, and estuary walks, and yeah, it's a really like, waterfront type, type、um, kind of environmental place, as well as a really cute town. So definitely put this one on the list. Um, we'll show you where we're staying when we get back,、um, which is only a little bit out of town. And、um, yeah, there's lots to kind of be outdoors and explore in the right weather. For us, it's kind of too cold. But yeah, the beaches are beautiful. And、um, maybe we'll put it on the list for a warmer day next time. Alright, this is Daniel's kind of tourist activity. Amanda likes big things like lobsters, taking photos of her own big lobsters, and、uh, going and looking at boardwalks and stuff. And Daniel likes going and v i s i t distilleries. This is Illegal Tender Rum Co. <laughs> we didn't, never just, didn't even know it was here and saw like a brown tourist sign as we're driving through town, and I was like, I know that name. Guess what we're doing today? <laughs> Got yumminess in a bottle. <laughs> Cheers. Good morning.、Um, I forgot to tell you where we, <laughs> where we stayed yesterday when we got back.、Um, so that's me doing this. That's what I'm doing this morning、um, while I remember. So we are 7Ks out of town at the Dongara Rest area free camp. 
um, really nice little kind of area with picnic table, uh, it does have a fire pit um, and rubbish bins and then there's just a few little spots that you can pull in like you can, our size rig could definitely fit in most of the spots but there's definitely um, only enough space for maybe five setups um, to still obviously allow room for driving through um, and that kind of thing. Um, there are no fires here from 1st of October to like 30th of April and you can tell that the flies are very friendly. Um, it's that time of year so we time of year that we can't do fires and um, the flies are friendly <laughs> and the wind is windy so um, yeah anyway it's nice what they saw but we had looked overlooked the farm paddock which is nice and was that little bit off the road the road there isn't that much noise um, it's not a busy road so um, that was good and um, yeah I think that's everything it's free bring everything um, that you need obviously and um, nice little spot to check out Port Denison and Dongara um, but yeah if I've missed anything, obviously dog friendly and all that because of being a free camp. Um, so yeah, if I've missed anything you want to know anything else, let me know. Um, we are off to somewhere else today. Um, we've stayed here for two nights, just chilled and checked out the place. Um, and we're going to move a little bit further south. Um, we'll show you along and let you know when we get to when we get there. Alrighty guys, I just wanted to uh, let you know about an awesome package that we have put together with Zoe from Flat Out International. It's the multi reels reels. I've mentioned them briefly before. Um, we have the one with the flat hose that rolls up that you extend out. Um, we also have now the package. It's got, that package in, includes four of your flat out compact multi reels, one for your power cable, which we've got two of, so one for 10 meter and one for 20 meter um, power leads, one for our Starlink cable and one for our solar panel uh, Anderson plug um, extension leads as well. I absolutely hate untidy tangling mess um, and that's what our hoses and cables and leads were prior to, the, um, to finding the flat out international things um, and then when we found the solution for the Starlink cable um, Zoe jumped on the chance to work with us and um, bring out the Overland Essentials pack so we she's the pack that she's put together is discounted um, with extra bonuses with stacking straps and things like that in there um, and also in the description below is an extra discount code um, as well that you can get just for being us Overlanders um, supporters. Anyway, I don't know what we'll get up to next.